Hello everyone, it's Thomas from Runway Insight Aviation YouTube channel and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your MSFS or Microsoft Flight Simulator absolutely amazing in 2024, completely for free using just one tool. Before we move on, I would like to address the lack of video content on the YouTube channel recently. I've been pretty busy in real life for the past year or so, graduating from high school and also other private things coming into play. Uh, but I should have some more free time now, so hopefully I can record and bring uh, some uh, new tutorials and uh, in general flights and videos to you guys as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's get back on track of today's video, which is how to make our Microsoft Flight Simulator look absolutely amazing in 2024. And uh, in today's video, we will need only one tool and one tool only. The tool that I'm talking about is NVIDIA Freestyle, also known as the NVIDIA In-Game Filters or Shaders. Uh, yes, you heard me correctly, NVIDIA. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to uh, turn on and how to set up these filters for NVIDIA graphics cards only. If you are an AMD user, for example, the AMD Radeon series uh, GPU user, you don't need to worry because there is uh, an option how to, uh, let's say, enable game filters for your GPU as well. Uh, if you go into your uh, AMD Radeon application, you select the game, there you should see a custom color feature. If you turn that on, you will be able to set contrast, vibrance, uh, etc. Basically the uh, very same um, settings we will be using or we will set up in today's video. So you can just uh, follow along and uh, see what settings uh, we are using, uh, how we set everything up and then you can uh, adjust settings for your uh, AMD graphics cards uh, regarding to what we did in uh, this video for the NVIDIA cards. But let's get back to NVIDIA users, including myself, and in order to uh, set up your NVIDIA Freestyle or the NVIDIA in-game filters, you will need only one application and to your surprise it might already be installed on your PC. The application is called GeForce Experience, it looks like this. Um, you probably know it uh, because uh, NVIDIA users uh, download their uh, game-ready drivers from this application. Uh, if you do not have this uh, application installed, I will leave a link in the description down below so you do not need to worry. Just click on the link, download the app, install it and it will be right here with me. You should see two main tabs, home and drivers. I am in the drivers uh, tab right now. And here you have the uh, game ready drivers for your uh, graphics card. Uh, as you can see, I'm not using the latest one because uh, there were some uh, saving uh, issues with the game ready filters. They work just fine, only the saving is a bit uh, is a bit broken at times. So uh, I am using this uh, game ready driver version 546.33 or the release from the 12th of December 2023. I'm waiting for the next update to override uh, this one and then I will install another version. Just uh, to note, the in-game filters will reset every time you re-download, uh, roll back or update your uh, NVIDIA game-ready driver. It is a bit of a pain, uh, I know, it was already addressed, NVIDIA is working on uh, how to uh, basically make the filters stay within the specific games uh, with um, GeForce game-ready drivers. Uh, updates uh, in count. So uh, maybe in the near future we will see an update like that, but for the time being, every time you update your driver, you will need to apply your NVIDIA filters again. So you can just uh, go back to this video and uh, check the settings again. It's really um, fast and a simple process basically. But to uh, enable the feature in the first place I was talking about earlier, the NVIDIA uh, filters or shaders, uh, we need to go into the settings. So we just click this uh, little icon here and here we are in the settings of GeForce Experience. You go to the general page and here on the right hand side you have uh, different features of uh, GeForce Experience. 
The one we are most interested in, or the two actually, is the in-game overlay. Uh, you can uh, toggle the freestyle mode via the in-game overlay, which uh, is uh, Alt-Z. The shortcut to open the in-game overlay is Alt-Z. Or you can just press Alt-F3. Just be careful, Alt F3 is right next to Alt F4. Uh, the combination Alt F4 will uh, close your simulator basically instantly, which you do not really want while flying, do you? So uh, just remember it's Alt F3 for the freestyle overlay and Alt Z for the in-game NVIDIA overlay. So ideally have this in-game overlay uh, option turned on and then in the features check if your freestyle uh, feature is ready. If it is not ready you can click on it and here you have all the requirements that uh, need to be met in order to have this uh, freestyle feature running. Um, and obviously you can check the system requirements and also supported games and applications right here. Once you have this done, you can close GeForce Experience and start your Microsoft Flight Simulator. When you load up the simulator, you can straight away check if the features we enabled are working as they should, are working properly. So if you go on and press Alt Z, it should open the GeForce Experience overlay uh, as we talked about earlier. As you see, I am recording the video on GeForce Experience now, so that's why the record button is green for me. It shouldn't be for you. If you press Alt Z again, you should get rid of the GeForce Experience overlay. And if you want to open the in-game filters, the NVIDIA freestyle feature, press Alt F3. This should open this game filter overlay uh, thing on the left. And here we will set all the filters later on. So if you press Alt F3 again, the window will disappear. Load up a scenario so uh, we have a better understanding on what's going on when we change certain settings. And it's happening right in front of our eyes. So we can have a close look on what we actually like and what we do not like. So go ahead, load a scenario so we can have a better look. Here we are at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport with the PMDG 737-900. So we can now go ahead and open the Game Filters tab with Alt F3. So let's press that. And here we are in the uh, Game Filter uh, overlay. Now, uh, here you can see that uh, our... Um, Overall, let's say game filter turn on and off button is uh, switched to off and uh, that our image sharpening is set to 50%. Leave the image sharpening as it is and go uh, ahead and press 1. Here it says add a filter to begin. That's exactly what we are going to do. And uh, in today's video, I will show you two settings that uh, work the best for me. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, all of us are using uh, many different uh, monitors, uh, screen setups, etc. We use different uh, brightness, uh, contrast uh, and everything. So. Um, I will give you uh, these uh, settings. They look great with my system and with my setup basically. So um, you can use these, adjust it maybe with your monitor settings a bit as well. You can then uh, compare it with the screenshots I will show you afterwards and showed earlier of how the sim should look after we apply all these filters. And you should see a very big difference because this is an absolute game changer. So let's go ahead and add the first filter. So the first filter we're going to add is sharpen. So add filter, sharpen. Next one is color, then details, and last but not least, brightness and contrast. It looks pretty funny now, pretty uh, oversaturated, a bit too much of exposure, but uh, we're not uh, done just here, so uh, bear with me. Now, uh, you need to click done on the game filter and then open the game filter again using Alt F3. Once you've done that, you can go into the sharpen filter and we will 
do ignore film grain 100%, leaf intensity at 50%. Then we go to color, which is tint color 0, tint intensity 0, then temperature is minus 11.6 and vibrance is 0 0.5. Moving on to details, we have sharpen at 5%, then clarity at 0%, HDR toning at 61% and bloom at 9%. And the last filter is brightness and contrast. Exposure is minus one. Contrast is 31. Highlights, zero. Shadows, minus 10%. And gamma is zero. Now, if you click on done, this is how my NVIDIA in-game filters look like in the simulator. You can turn on the game filter overlay again by pressing Alt F3 and you can turn the filters off. This is how the sim looks by default. And if you click on one, it will open our adjusted NVIDIA in-game filter settings. I feel like this brings a whole new life to the simulator. If we turn it off again, you can see that the sim is not really sharp and it is uh, a bit too warm, let's say. The color palette is maybe a bit too warm. So if we click on one again on the settings we just created, this is more of a natural look. You will definitely appreciate this in the sky because when uh, flying in between clouds, cloud surfing and stuff, these settings work really, really great. So definitely give these a go. Again, keep in mind to adjust your monitor settings maybe a bit as well, uh, maybe playing with the sliders on your own, but this is definitely a good start for you because I'm using these exact filters when I fly and they look absolutely stunning in all scenarios. But we are not done here because I have one more preset. Let's call them presets. So this is the preset number one or style number one uh, as Nvidia calls it. So let's uh, create uh, another preset. Let's add filter details. Let's add brightness and contrast and let's add color. We click on done again and then open the game filter overlay again by pressing alt uh, f3 and uh, go to details here sharpen 50 percent clarity 21 percent hdr toning 17 percent and bloom four percent moving on to brightness and contrast exposure minus one Contrast, zero. There we go. Highlights, 13%. There we go. Shadows, 15%. And gamma correction, zero. And last but not least is color within this profile. So tint color is 39. Tint intensity is 9. Temperature minus 12. So this is the best we can uh, get. And vibrance is 18. So this is the closest we can get as well. Now we can close color. And here is another really, really nice looking preset for you guys. If I turn this one off and turn it on again. It looks really fresh as well. There is uh, one slight difference to the previous one. If I switch in between these two filters, you can see that the second one has a bit of a darker black color, let's say. It has sort of more clarity to it. It's 21% clarity, and uh, with this preset, it works fine. 
with this one if I add clarity I think it wouldn't work that great because it, it has some bloom to it I like uh, if you remember my old videos from the p3d days I like to have the simulator with a bit of a bloom because it just freshens up the simulator a bit I would say and um, also it gives it a more natural look but this preset if you do not like the the bloom there uh, you can go for this one with a bit more clarity and a bit more vibrant colors. So, again, play with these settings, see what you like best and uh, improve from here. This is like a foundation for you because, as I said over and over again, we do not have the same screen, so you will need to make adjustments, but this is a great foundation for you guys. Preset number one, preset number two and default. All right, so now we're done with the NVIDIA in-game filter setup. I hope you like these two presets. Uh, you can uh, continue flying with them. It's uh, completely up to you. You can make changes or maybe uh, gradually uh, go through uh, what you like, what you do not like, edit. It's really simple. Just open the overlay by pressing Alt F3 and you can edit uh, anytime, basically, when you're flying in the air, on, on the ground, or just messing up with, uh, with the settings. You can always edit this. I hope you guys uh, enjoy these presets. If uh, there is anything you guys want to ask me, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. If there is anything unclear, let me know. I will try to help you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you will enjoy these filters. Please leave a like, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, take care, guys.